these are Dunus 1700 US dollar IEMs 1700 a thousand seven hundred US dollar IEMs they're, they're insanely expensive the drivers are made out of beryllium and they sound wonky and here's what I think about them now disclaimer before we start the review this unit was provided by uh, Dunu indirectly through Jeff um, who is a member of a local forum he got in contact with Brian he lent them to Brian and Brian lent them to me so yeah and unfortunately we did only get it as unit only and they didn't although they have this excellent cable they did not provide like all the adapters that come with it that's rather unfortunate but we'll do what we what what we have now this review will be completely of my own honest opinion we're not affiliated to any store or any brand whatsoever so yeah now We'll just start off with build quality because there's not a lot of things to talk about anyway. I don't have the packaging, etc. So we'll just cover that quickly. I think the shells of the Dunu Lunas are extremely nice. They're they're very comfortable. They're made out of some sort of like metal. I don't remember exactly what they're made out of. Uh, but they're they're not heavy. They're quite light. Uh, they are very small. They fit in my ear quite quite comfortably. They I can even sleep with these essentially. Like I tried lying down with these and it didn't pressure my ear as much as I thought they would. Uh, these actually fit me better than something like the Shure SE215s, which are quite known for how comfortable they are. Now, uh, aside from that, the cable itself is exceptional. Um, the only problem is that it's... I wouldn't say it's stiff. It's just, it's just that it retains its sort of like... It tries to retain its shape and direction, so it tangles quite easily. It isn't very microphonic but damn does it look good like it that's that's just that's hot that's 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 really hot that's cool as hell and the exchangeable connectors uh which i don't really want to ruin these you're supposed to be able to change these and i am not able to right now because i am okay here so you're supposed to be able to exchange these with whatever connector you want them to like you can change these with a three and a half connector whatsoever they they are proprietary you will need to buy these uh, connectors if you lose them uh, you will get all of the connectors in the box so yeah and they are mostly angle jacks so that's also cool they have they have this like arrow indicator so you know where you have to plug it in in what direction and it fits like a charm. It's 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 really it's a really cool system. Like instead of having adapters, why not just have it immediately here and make it something that's quite secure and sturdy? I think it's a really cool concept. And yeah, uh, there is a vent in the IEM. This is a vented dynamic driver IEM. It is indeed single dynamic driver. Uh, the ear hooks, I think, uh, they're just made out of like this preformed cable, so they just go over your ear quite comfortably. Overall, I think the Duno Luna is a very comfortable, very light, extremely good looking IEM. Now, sound though, when we get to sound, this is... This is where my heart gets broken. Because they're, ex they're exceptionally attractive. I, do I don't know if I, if I can keep on saying that before you guys get just pissed with me but they are i think they look great they feel great if you touch them they have this sort of texture that's great but the sound of them is just it's just wonky and for 1700 dollars i just i just can't now we'll get into more detail about the sound and we'll start off with bass like we normally do now the bass of the doodle -doo i think is the most impressive part of it um i think the bass has really nice texture it's very fast i think this is probably one of those iems that actually can do dragon force um it just falls behind slightly, slightly, slightly. It's not a much of an issue most of the time, but it decays so quickly. So sometimes I feel like the bass just feels, although it's a dynamic driver, it, it, it leans towards BA-ish bass even, even using a dynamic driver. But the texture overall just uh, is still quite good. I just wish there was a little bit more decay in it. Um, the, Although that does indeed contribute to why they are able to do dra to do Dragon Force quite well, but yeah, some people might feel like the base of the uh, Lunas are pretty much non-existent. 
Quantity wise, they are indeed linear. They are not really emphasized at all. Extension is quite good. Sub base and mid base, I think, are along the same lines. Uh, both of those textures are good, as I mentioned earlier. Um, the sub base slam is quite pleasing. And uh, the mid base, mid base kick and punch is also quite good. But yeah, I think it's just the only problem for me is that the base just decays a bit too quickly for what I expected to do, considering how much uh, how punchy they are and um, how much texture there is. I just wish that it just decays just a little bit slower so that it feels more authentic. But putting that aside, I think uh, the base doesn't lead to the mid range. Uh, overall, I think this is still an acceptable tuning, but for seventeen hundred dollars, I don't think so. Now going to the mid range, this is where things get a little bit worse. I think the mid range of the Dunu Lunas are odd to say the least. The Dunu Lunas mid range can sound thick and thin at the same time. They're like male vocals don't sound too thin, like very low male vocals don't sound too thin. But once you get higher pitched, they start to becoming a bit hollow. Like the mid mid ranges feel a bit hollow sometimes. They're not really hollow. They feel a bit more distant. And the upper mids feel very front, like they are quite up front, they, they're quite emphasized. So female vocals especially, like the higher pitch they go, the more forward they will be. Now, the lower pitch the female vocals go, the more distant they are. So they can sound thick and thin at the same time. So to me, the mid-range just sounds very odd. Although detail and resolution-wise, they're absolutely excellent. The wonkiness in that mid range just kills it for me. Like, I just I can't listen to these for a long time without feeling like this is off. Like, it, it's it's very off. I I can't I can't really think of a good representation of what this sounds like in terms of uh. It doesn't sound like when you're listening through a, a can or something like that. It just sounds off. It's yeah. I'm 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 at a bit of a loss of words of how how, how wonky it is, um, which is kind of disappointing uh, for seventeen hundred dollars, especially. But yeah, now when we're gonna be talking about treble, there's also one big issue on the treble of the lunas. I think the treble of the lunas they start to drop off at eight k for some reason. The treble region overall is quite emphasized, except for the eight k to ten k drop. There's like to my ears, like 15-ish like decibel drop-off in that region. I don't know why that's there. So things can sound very upfront, but also suppressed. So there's kind of the same pattern like I talked about earlier in the mid-range. They can sound both very upfront, but also very subdued at the same time, um, depending on where the focus are coming in or, or what uh, is being played in the treble region. Like symbols can just sound very upfront and then backwards, upfront, backwards. I just, it's just, it's just off. It's, it's it's defined but blunt at the same time, sort of. Like symbol crashes, you can hear them very clearly. There's plenty of detail. This it it can it snaps at you very nicely, but then it just is very subdued suddenly. The higher it goes, so I just yeah. Now aside from the issues in the travel region and that mid range. I think uh, one of the better parts of the Dunu Lunas is the extension. I think the extension is quite good overall at both ends. Sub base extension was, as I mentioned earlier, quite good. Treble extension overall is also quite good. Uh, the sound stage of the Dunu Lunas are also quite good. I think the Dunu Lunas have quite a wide sound. They don't really sound that deep to me, and they don't really sound that uh, that tall to me. Uh, height. In terms of uh, sound, to me, was never never something that I was able to perceive quite well anyways. So, take it with a big, big grain of salt. And overall, sound stage and imaging, to me, I perceive sound stage and imaging quite differently to what I normally read from reviews. So, again, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, now, the Dunu Lunas, to me, width-wise, they sound like almost they are at the level of where my ears are, which is exceptional for an IEM. Um, in terms of depth, I feel like they are just a little bit inwards. And for my head, if this were my head, I think they're just a little bit inwards. 
not a big of an issue they just sound more oval than they do round in terms of sound stage to me now uh imaging wise i was able to proceed them with an accuracy of like 45 ish degrees which i think is exceptional so yeah no issues there now in terms of comparisons uh before this video that we're releasing we've already released a compa full comparison video against the z1r and all those things so i think you can just refer to that video we have a very detailed breakdown against the ums z1r and moondrop s8s and such so i think we'll just keep it short and i don't have the packaging etc for this video so yeah i'll leave it at that so like if you like this video comment what you think and subscribe if you want more content like this see you guys next time